a real powerful agreement. He's going to tell you all about it. Brother Tete, give him some love. Mm. Good morning, Agape. It's always morning in God's neighborhood. God, the sun of righteousness and love never sets. Thank you so much, each one of you, for creating the space and being the energy that invites me to come and share what Spirit seeks to share through me. Thank you, my dear brother, Michael, back with my twin brother, as we call ourselves. <laughs> ah. On this special Mother Day, what else can I say that to, than to honor all mothers on the planet? And mother is not just one who gave birth, but mother is one who gave birth to ideas that others grow with and grow on. Your children are not those who came from you. Your children are those that you come through. So when your wisdom, your beauty, your power, your intelligence nourishes somebody, you are a mother, whether you are in a male body or a female body. Give a woman a sperm, and she'll give you a child and a whole human being. Give a woman an idea, and she'll give you a whole working principle. So we are in this frequency vibration of the motherhood, and this is a special day that all those who are wise will want to plant themselves, plant their consciousness into the woman frequency. For this is global energy. The global agreement is today that Mother's Day, meaning the day of the womb, and the womb has only two assignments to incubate and create. What must you incubate in the womb frequency? What must you create in the womb frequency? So when you are wise, you spend your day feeling you entering into your mother's womb and then feeling you, rich feeling you, healthy, successful, feeling you anything, whatever you can feel you as, and literally breathe you into your mother's womb, it will connect you to the cosmic womb, the womb of the mother, and you are in the frequency of incubation. This is why you cannot feel you angry, sad, or worried into the womb, else you are going to amplify it. This is the day of amplification. And I'm talking about agreeing with life's agreement. Agree with nature's agreement. I'm a universal citizen. I come from Africa. And nature is my teacher. If it works well, it must work in harmony with nature. Every spiritual principle or philosophy, if it's not in harmony with nature, it will give you temporary palliative results and you will return into the pain. By the way, is my international accent so good now? <laughs> Thank you. However, I still recommend that you listen to me from the heart. There are many things I now know how to say better. And I always recall the story of me and Reverend Caroline. Some of you may know her. I was living with her. Her, her husband has drawn some beautiful picture with pencil. And you will really feel that the artwork is alive. Something dented the artwork. And she was really troubled by it. So I offered a suggestion that the next time you draw a beautiful masterpiece like this, you scan them. He said, what? I said, you scan them. After saying a few times, he turned to me and said, Brother Tete, what has this artwork got to do with condom? I said, no, you put it on the scanner and you scan them. He said, no, you say scan. So now I know how to say scan and not to say scan. <laughs> I wanted biscuits and my mother, Reverend Dr. Elvis Oliver, beautiful woman of love, mother of love, sent someone to buy me biscuits and they brought bread. And I said, no, I want biscuits. Eventually, to solve the problem, they took me to the shop to get me biscuits. And we went one shop after the other, and I couldn't find biscuits. So they took me to the mall, and I found biscuits. And I said, that's a biscuit. He said, oh, you mean cookies. <laughs> so I know to say cookies and not biscuits. 
when I get to UK, I will say biscuits. So agree with life's agreement. At the bottom line, we are all seeking to have a life of peace, love, and harmony with ourselves. We want to enjoy our noble thoughts, have feelings that are celebratory, feel gratitude within our souls. We want to have a physical life of health and beauty, feeling strong and vibrant in ourselves. We are also praying for and seeking to have a life of wealth and riches and money so we can afford what we wanted to do and primarily fulfill the good that we are here to do and be. We're seeking all of this. And the question we need to ask ourselves is, who are we to be seeking these things? Where are we? Where are we reached in our evolutionary journey for us to be needing these things and seeking these things? So often we pray to God to do something about our situation, and I don't know of a God who can do anything about your situation. You have not been created by God for you to go and beg God as a beggar to do something for you. You've been created in God's spiritual image and likeness to express the glory and the power of God. I am a universal citizen. I come from Africa. And nature is my teacher. When we speak of nature, we're not meaning the little shrubs out there. We're meaning you are a being of nature. Strive where you are, expanding to the ever-expanding universe is nature. This thing we call life is God. There's no God and life in African theology. There is God as everything. That's why we have uh, respect and rituals and prayers that bless the rivers the farm, the land, because life is everything. Yeah. Ask me who is God, let me turn 360 degree and tell you this is. Wherever I can see, smell, taste, touch, and hear that my life depends on is God. The life I live is the life of the universe that is living itself. There's no you. There is the universe coming to its own glory and perfection as each one of us. And we need to awaken to that consciousness. So I can offer a few suggestions or answers that I think will really help us to answer the question of, I am here seeking all of these things. The first primary one is for us to awaken to the realization that this life that we are living is a powerful, purposeful, spontaneous, creative, love, intelligent universe. It is powerful, so powerful that it can change human drama, business, everything by the press of a button called COVID-19. And businesses changed, relationships changed. We had to think differently. We had to think more in ways that conserve and preserve our planet. And today, many could even sit in their homes and work so they save fuel. Life has changed at the press of a button. Yes, it's a powerful universe. It's a purposeful universe because right now as we are here, we know it's spinning. Mother Earth, oh, Mother Earth, hanging, hanging in space, hanging and inviting souls to come and incarnate through it to have the experience of themselves. Blessed are you, Mother, my woman and my angel. So it's powerful because right now it is spinning a thousand miles an hour to give us night and day and speeding around the sun at a speed of 67,000 miles an hour without which happening there is no life. It is that purposeful, intentional. And I want to share with you that you have not been created. You are not a created being by a so-called sky god who stood somewhere and created you and put you on planet earth. You are not a created being. You are an emergent being. You have emerged from the vastness of the universe. So there is no you. There is a creative, love, intelligent, beautiful, powerful, purposeful universe that is coming into its own self as you. 
When you are working to this, that I am an emergent being. Can somebody say that? I'm My accent is good. <laughs> you wouldn't have been able to say it if you didn't hear me well. <laughs> I am an emergent being that will change your consciousness. It will change the way you relate with life. I'm an imagined being, you see, the wave emerged from the ocean with the watery and the salty nature of the ocean. And you have emerged from the creative love intelligence universe with all of the attributes, beauty, and power of the creative love intelligence universe. Yes. When you are working to that realization, then you look into yourself and your purpose begins to sink itself to you moment by moment. You come to realize that I'm a unit of life. Can I hear that? I'm a unit of life. Here to evolve, Here to evolve. Through, service through service for the promotion of life. For the promotion of life. This is the purpose of everyone on the planet. Yep. I call it the ultimate purpose declared. Yep. I'm a unit of life. Here to evolve through service for the promotion of life. Yep. And as a unit of life... Life has my back. When you will declare, I'm a unit of life and feel life coming to itself as you, you, are, you got your back protected. Your life is serene. You are as big as life. The wave is as big as the ocean. The wave can choose to see itself as a little wave in the ocean or it can feel its connectedness with the entire ocean. Then it knows I am the ocean and you know I am the fullness of life coming to its own glory. There's now no place for mediocrity, lack, limitation and human pettiness. You step out of the pity, petty partying of life. You begin to live your life as it should be. You begin to live your life not according to your figuring out purposes. Stop figuring out your purpose and let life tell and speak its purpose through you. So I say, agree with life's agreement. Because what life has already planned, since you are part of it, you either participate consciously with life as you suffer. So if you suffer, it's your choice. Because life has a path it is following. And you only say, yes, life can never sabotage itself. If it can only promote itself, then you are in life as the promotion, the advancement, and the revelation of the eternal beauty of life. Feel that. Then all of these mental anxieties and worries and tension begin to fade out of you. Agree with life's agreement because life has agreed with itself to do some specific things, behave in some specific ways. Life is energy vibrating at varying frequencies. So when you capture a frequency of life, which is, let's say, a macro frequency, it is a law. It is imperative. Life's agreements are imperative. You see, as a being of nature, Life commands you and you obey. Sometimes we tend to think we are ourselves, some little thing here. No, you are life. Yep. Life commands you eat, you eat. We call it hunger. <laughs> life commands you drink, you drink. We call it thirst. <laughs> and when nature calls, you have to rush to the restroom as, as you mess up. <laughs> so nature, life is running your life. Feel you one with this thing called life. And then study nature and read her laws, her imperatives, her ideas within itself. And simply connect with, tune yourself to nature's frequency and allow that frequency to broadcast itself through you. One of the frequencies of nature is that it must go ahead of itself, providing what is needed before it is needed. Check it out in your life. Somebody say, life goes ahead of me. Providing what I need before I needed it. And I'm speaking spiritual English. Before you needed it, before you think you will need it, it has already been provided. When you were born, 
Before you step out from the womb, life has gone ahead of you, provided your mother with the breast milk. And the first breast milk, colostrum, contains the antibiotics and the minerals for your immunization and strengthening. Did you pray for that? Did you decree for that? So there's a frequency in life. This is operating for all human beings, animals, plants, that life must always go ahead of itself. This is a law. It's a vortex energy. When you discover it, all you need to do is to raise your frequency to that vibration. And what you do, like a radio station, you do it in your homes every time. You tune your television to a station. So tune yourself to station. Life goes ahead of me, providing what I need before I needed it. We call it the station of divine provision. Life must, it has no choice. Without this happening, there'll be no life. If life were to wait for you to pray for rain before it rains, what would it be? <laughs> if life were to wait for you to pray for something before life does it, wow, God is not answering any prayer for anyone. He's not waiting to answer your prayers. Every prayer need you feel is simply life telling you that Something has already been provided for you, so tune in to receive it. Because life's nature is to go ahead of itself, providing what is needed. And since you've been there, feel you in that frequency. And the way to do it is simple. I teach the principles of nature. Give life or give yourself the evidences that this is so. Did this is so, that life goes ahead of me. How do I prove it? Once you prove it, the logical mind is won. And it agrees with the intuitive spiritual mind. Then there's no doubt in you. It becomes clean laser tuning in. And all you need is to give it evidence. Nature is about evidence. Nature is the evidence of eternal beauty birthing itself. Hence you see flowers, plants... Before you were born, plants were here. Life goes ahead of me. Life goes ahead of me. All you need, therefore, give yourself the evidences. State it a thousand times. Life goes ahead of me, providing what I need before I needed it. As in when my mother's breasts were filled with milk before I was born. Life goes ahead of me, providing what I need before I needed it. Life goes ahead of me. Keep sounding it. The air was provided before I needed it. Somebody gifted me wall bracket for flat screen television before I thought of buying my first flat screen television. <laughs> Life went ahead of me, providing what I need before I needed it. You have several evidences of this. List them. Life goes ahead of me. And as you keep sounding this, it's connecting you to the inner reality that this is what it is. Sometimes, in your own self, you catch a thought before you think it. It's like you just know it before you even thought of knowing it and saying it. Life goes ahead of you. It's a law, a frequency of the universe. And by giving yourself all of the evidences, the air was here before I came. Life goes ahead of me, providing what I need before I needed it. My partner, my lover was born four years before I was born. For me to meet with him, life goes ahead of me, providing what I need before I needed it. Then you apply it to yourself. Life goes ahead of me, providing what I need, providing the health I need before I needed it. Life that knows how to go ahead of me, providing what I need, now goes ahead of me, providing me with the right wisdom for me to win this business contract. Life that goes ahead of me, goes ahead of me, providing me with the health that I need, the joy, the wisdom that I need. Your prayers now become you entering into stillness and inviting life. Life, come through me, Ahead of me, doing what you know best. Call it God. Call it life. It's the same. I evoke God to come to itself through me, doing God through me. Please wake up to what you are. 
so you stop playing it small. Yes. yes. This brings you to true faith. True faith. You see, sometimes when we talk about faith, it's as though there's an imaginary God somewhere. We have to do some things, step one, two, three, and then we climb, then we start having faith in God. We all know that if you want to succeed in anything, you need to have faith in yourself, isn't it? Yes. And it's so difficult. Stop having faith in yourself. It is too much struggle. <laughs> it's too much struggle trying to have faith in yourself. All of the pictures of you are bad, you are silly, you won't amount to anything, they are all part of your mental baggage. So having faith in yourself, you try and a thought tells you, oh, you failed last year. <laughs> last, l- last week, you got it wrong. Your logical mind gives you all the pictures of all the failures and the mistakes in your life. Having faith in yourself is too much struggle, isn't it? Do it nature's way. It is simple. Every inventor has faith in itself before their invention, isn't it? Did I hear you? Every inventor has faith in himself for the invention. And life must have faith in itself for bringing you into being. The ocean must have faith in itself for projecting the waves into being. So I don't need to have faith in myself. I have the faith my creator has in itself for creating me. Yes. I have the faith my creator has in itself for creating me. Wherever you are, God, every inventor believes in his own invention. Life believes in me. I don't need my belief in myself. I need the belief life has in me. So I connect to that frequency of life belief in itself. And as I evolve, I come to the place that truly every invention, such as your, your mobile phones, are the expressions of the faith of the manufacturer. Am I right? So truly, what am I? I am the faith of God in expression. What did I hear? I am the faith of God in expression. So you come to that frequency. I am the faith of the creative love intelligent universe in the expression. You no more need to have faith in. You are the faith. When I am the faith of God, do I need to have faith in God? Faith in God means me and God. You see, I sinned when I was a child and I've been told I would go to hell. Can I have faith in that God? Even when you want to have faith, maybe because of my sins I committed for the last 10 years, God, will God look at me? But when I'm the faith of the universe, I'm the faith of the universe in expression. You are instantly large. It puts you out of your own picture and you allow the universe to do itself through you. So be in agreement with life's agreement. Life's agreement is that God, life, onyami, nyongbo, as we call it in our local language, nyongbo means visitor of the midnight. The silent presence that is there at all times. Yes. Unyami, the unyanawa mean that which satisfies. If you get it, then you are fulfilled. Whatever you call it, when I'm his faith in expression, I allow God to do, I allow God to be. Another frequency of this creative power, when you start studying God. I'm inviting you to the new era of spirituality where you begin to think in harmony with nature. Let nature teach you its spirituality. That's what I do. Listening to nature and allowing nature to to teach me. Take a deep breath. Because one of the laws I want to talk about is the law of abundance. The frequency of abundance. Life has agreed with itself that it must be abundant. You have no say in it. You participate in, in abundance, else you suffer. Say, I'm choosing to be abundant. I'm to be abundant. abundant in love. Abundant, love. abundant in health. Abundant, health. abundant in wealth. Abundant in I'm choosing to allow life to be abundant through me. Yes. Because yes. that is the law. Without this law, there will be no life. 
The law of abundance was set in motion even in your womb. When the sperm and the ovum must now multiply to become a whole human system, the law was set in motion. Isn't it true? Yes. Can you see it now? Yes. So hold on to that evidence. Feel that evidence. And then you come to know that a grain of corn in the ground becomes a maize plantation. There is abundance. As I keep saying this, I'm lifting me with the evidence to the frequency. I'm tuning me. Over a few hours or days, now I'm in alignment with the law of abundance. A grain of corn, an acorn becomes an oak tree. There is abundance. There is abundance. Life is here to be more of itself. This is the law of multiplicity in the law of amplification. There is abundance. There is abundance. Then you can speak you into the law. When I, you pray and you say, I release my word into the law, which law? You must know the laws. This is the law. I have the evidences. There's abundance of sunshine rays. There's abundance of air from the infinite past, now, and the future. There is abundance of money. It's flowing in people's pockets and even in the eaters right now on the internet. There is abundance. Hold the evidence of abundance. Now you can speak into, into the law. I speak my health into the law of abundance and allow the cosmic law of abundance now come to its fullness through this being called me. I speak myself into the law of abundance. I speak my joy into abundance. I speak my financial health into abundance right now. I feel me a hundred dollar bill note. Good morning. I feel me 50-pound note, 200 Ghana CD note, wherever you are, your note. I feel me. Often good people don't make money to accomplish the good they came here for. Because you've been programmed to believe money is bad. If you don't love somebody, the person wouldn't love to come to you. If you don't love money, money wouldn't come to you. Somebody say, I love money. <laughs> your freedom is here. And say it like you mean it. Say, I love money. Because I, I was in that difficulty until I broke free and suddenly my businesses started flourishing as a very young person. Because I grew up with the picture planted in my mind that I'll go to hell. Um, there's a God who will put you into hellfire and brimstone. And one of the things that will make you a candidate for hell is money. And you know, my head teacher explained to us that Read it first in the Bible. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And told us that a camel is four times the size of a horse. So if a horse cannot go through the eye of a needle, if you are rich, you will never go to heaven. Will I want to go to heaven or hell? If heaven, do I want to prosper? Deep within, something is laid that was preventing me from breaking free. Another person told me that... Um, Money is the root of all evil. I don't know where that is in scripture. When I asked the person to read it, and he read it, he said, the love of money is the root of all evil with some coveting. Coveting means you have not worked for it, and you want somebody who has worked for it to go and take. That is coveting. Right. So it's a coveting of money which is the root of evil, not love of money. Money is the symbol for the value of service rendered. Money is a symbol for the value of service rendered. Service is a release of your energy to benefit another. So money is simply your service energy. And you don't have energy to serve. The energy you serve with is the universe serving itself through you. So the money you receive is the energy of the universe that is seeking to come to its fullness through you to fulfill the vision planted in you. This is why you have to say, I love money. I love money. Are you there? I, I, love I love money. Now say it without meaning knowing I love money. I love and when you do, then you feel all right to feel you a hundred dollar bill. Because hundred dollar simply means energy of the cosmos, symbol of cosmic energy. I am this cosmic energy and I speak me as this 
energy into the law of abundance, the law of multiplicity and amplification. I speak me into it now. And speaking me into it, the Lord now knows what to do. It simply amplifies and multiplies itself. Are we agreeing with the agreement of life? Yes. Because life's agreement is to be more of itself. Yes. And when you agree with life's agreement through the process of tuning in, and tuning in is simple, just give yourself the evidences of the law. And let the law come to its fullness in you. You tune into it and allow it to do the rest. Spirituality is easy. If you don't feel the fun of it, you have lost it. It mustn't be struggle. It mustn't be work. It must be a way of life. Yes? yes. yes. So get up every day, wake up, and simply like the animals do, check your breath. Hmm. Breathe out to the back of your nostrils. If it, is, if it is in the left, stamp your left foot on the ground and announce what glory of the universe is seeking to express. Yes. yes. So your prayers will no more be prayers of asking. Your prayers will take new dimension of simply witnessing the universe. Your prayers will be the description of the wonderful world you have come from. What a wonderful world. I said to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes. 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 You will be describing the wonderful world you've come from. Thus, you will not be focusing on your sad story and pains and troubles. You will not be praying to God to save you from the storms of sin, sickness, and disease. You cannot pray to God to save you from the storm when God is the storm. If God is all there is, it includes the storm. Yes? So if you are in some storm, if you are in some storm in life, come nature's way. Do it nature's way. You are in some storm, your leg is hurting you, say, my leg is hurting me. Say, I am in pain. What would you say? I am in pain. Let me hear you. I am in pain. You see, you are not so sure. Say, I am in pain. I am in pain. It's hurting me. When you say, when the pain is there, and you say, I'm whole, I'm healthy, your logical mind is telling you you are lying. <laughs> it is therefore negating all of the statements. And you see, the mind files information in pictures. So it has a picture of pain. So when you are even saying, I'm healthy, I'm healthy, it's filing the picture of pain, pain. But rather, go with nature. Be truthful. I am in pain. I am in pain. And I come from a healthy, vibrant, energetic universe that is pouring itself through me now. I am in pain, and I come. Never say but, else you are canceling it. I am in pain, and I come from a powerful, vibrant, energetic universe. I come from a planet that is athletic, spinning a thousand miles an hour, spinning at the at speeding at a speed of six to seven thousand miles an hour. Plants are growing in health and vitality. The power of the lioness is here as me. I come from a powerful, purposeful, spontaneous, vibrant, energetic universe. So it lifts you from the pain to connect to the vast goodness that is happening. In nature sciences, we call it uh, we call it stability declaration. You, you, you declare the truth of the pain, and then you lift you to the huge magnificence before whom the pain is like, like insignificant. And soon, you tap into the huge energy. And when the powerful, purposeful, athletic universe starts pouring itself through you, the pain begins to dissolve. Whether it is financial pain, physical pain, psychological pain, or whatever, social pain of relationship, acknowledge the pain. And then, logical mind says, yes, you are in pain. Logical mind also agrees. I came from a powerful universe. It now tunes itself away from the pain. Hence, Bible will tell you, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. From whence comes my help? Don't focus on the pain. Lift up your eyes onto the hills. From whence come from where? From where I have come from. Lift up your eyes onto the hill of possibilities. Yes. Yes. And then, 
the pain, whether it is financial pain, social, psychological, physical pain, they begin to dissolve. This is what I'm inviting you into, that you agree with life's agreement. There is nothing you are seeking to experience which life is already not doing for your highest good. Yes. You are a divine emanation of the infinite good. So simply let the infinite good be itself. Yes. Your prayers, noble, will be for God to do something for you. Your prayers will be for God to do itself through me. Somebody say, God. 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 Whatever you are, yes. whether I know you or not, be your, be your God self through me now. Then life starts pouring itself through you. Instead of praying to God for some solution, God, Spirit of the universe, my larger self, life of my life, answer to all needs, power that goes ahead of itself, providing before it is needed, life, God, be the answer to life's need through me today. When you are the answer to every life need, it connects you to huge force of energy. The wisdom needed. Somebody is crying. Somebody is praying. You will be the answer. The wisdom needed. You will be the answer. Somebody is in large limitation, suffering. You will be the answer. When you are the answer to life's problem, life is seeking such as you. Please, let us be life answers. When we hear of war, rumors of war, don't participate in it by saying, mm, ah, why, Ukraine? No, simply evoke you as the answer of life. Life. Life is being its answer through each one of us now. My God, I evoke God by God's eternal words of eternal truth to come to his fullness through us now. Answer that goes ahead of the question. Beauty that is forever expressing and expanding itself. You know what? Does it call for me to drink some water? Let me. Life demanding. Mm. So nature commanded, test, drink, I'm drinking. <laughs> so, finally, let's come to the conclusion that we are not going to ask God for answers. Let us nominate ourselves as units of life. Wake up to it. I'm a unit of life. Can I hear it again? I'm, I'm a unit of life. What are you here for? To evolve. Every being here, we are here to evolve and you evolve the life that is here as you. I'm here to evolve. Evolve means become more. You are seeking to be more in thinking, money, health, everything. It's a desire of the planet. Life's nature is to be more of itself. So simply be in partnership with the multiplication, amplification power of life, and then be more. So I'm, here, I'm a unit of life here to evolve. And you do it through service. Service means giving. Service means sharing. Service means making the time to be of benefit to somebody. The day you pass through and you're not in service or benefit to someone, you died. So be constantly in service. You have no choice. You are here for service, for the promotion of life. There are people who have made some, some money, and then we call them philanthropists because they are doing some good on the planet, isn't it? The fact is they have no choice. They call themselves philanthropists, as though they are doing some, some good. They have no choice. If you employ everybody on the planet to work for you, and you make all the money in the world, the money will employ you to be in service to people. So we are here for service. Tell somebody, I'm here for service. Let me hear it. I am here for service. Let me feel it. I am here for service. So every day, your life must be of some service to your community, the Agape community. Service to your spouse, your friends. Service. Be a beneficial presence. You are here to be a beneficial presence. And your soul grows 
to the degree that you are a beneficial presence unto others. Otherwise, you come into life with thousand soul force energy. You die with thousand soul force blessing. You are a parallel impact matrix person. That is good. You are, you came with thousand and you end with blessing just 500. You've done good. But you are a convergent impact matrix person. I invite you, be a divergent impact matrix. You came with thousand. Let your life bless zillions. Let even your dying be sweet in the ears of death. Stop struggling with dying. Die successfully so that angel death will smile for the first time. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Let's welcome life. It's coming to us in infinite forms. So when I am the answer, even my dying must be an answer to some situation. It might be beneficial to some situation. Oh, nominate yourself for such a great, grand life because that is what you are. You come from a grand, beautiful, powerful, purposeful, spontaneous, creative, love, intelligent universe, and you can simply jump to it. Thank you for listening. Brother Ishmael Tete. Life agreements. Mm. So somebody this moment, as we remember our mothers, I want you to remember the motherly spirit of your parents, male and female, that birthed you. Then their parents. And then their parents' parents. All the way to the first parents, the spirit of the air. You breathe the air? No, you don't breathe. It breathes you. It is intelligent enough. If you breathe, you could stop breathing. So fill you to the elements of the air, the fires, the waters, the very earth, and permit your soul join in my soul. Summon the first idea of the universe, the first principal idea of the universe that we do not know. Beauty that is seeking to express itself, we are invoking it through our lives now. The first breath of the universe that came through our ancestors. From that land beyond, beyond, from the ocean depths and cosmic heights, beings of light whose eyes revolve on their axis. Our fathers and our mothers, your fathers and their mothers, and their fathers and their mothers to the thousand generations before now, your limitless lights and cosmic victories. Our fathers and our mothers, the birds that left their lands, their nest to yonder lands, have returned to their nest in safety. This is why we are evoking ourselves to return into this divine consciousness once again. Our fathers and our mothers, to the first father and mother of life that we choose to call God. If we have heard, the babe certainly bites the very tip of the mother's breast and the mother continues to feed. Your righteousness now feeds the soul of our souls. And in coming to the fullness of your glory through us, you are glorified. God, only you can honor you by glorifying you through your creation. And you are honoring you through our lives now. We let you be. Tennis now be turned. Bennis now be bent. Whatever needs to turn, bend, change in our lives, I evoke this happening now by the life energy that is forevermore transforming itself. Fire. Yeah. Transformation, transmutation power of the universe in fire. Yeah. Breathe into us now. Water, you are the universal spirit of purification and restoration. Mm -hmm. Wherever the locusts, 
and the canker worm has eaten, there is a restorative energy of the waters. We breathe you in now. Stabilize us, oh Mother Earth, that we can experience your love and air breathes us with fresh new life. I announce the new day of the God glory through its creation, the God answer through its creation, now happily. And so it is. Amen. Continue with your eyes closed for a moment.